Hello, and welcome to another tutorial from the York County Library. Today, we'll be making a mosaic saucer. Ask your local library branch to put mosaic books on hold for you. We have a lot. Here is a list of supplies we used for this craft. You can mosaic on many different surfaces, but we chose to do this small terracotta saucer because we had some extra on hand. We bought plates from a thrift store and used some glass tiles specifically for mosaic. Here's everything we used. I am demonstrating how to use a tile cutter, but make sure you have proper safety equipment to protect your eyes and hands. The next thing I did was loosely arrange what I wanted my design to look like. I then took a photo so I could remember the placement. And now you're seeing me put glue on the saucer and begin placing my tiles and plate shards where I wanted. I didn't need to use this much glue because this is a strong adhesive, but if you use a PVA glue, make sure to use a healthy amount. Now that my tiles are placed, I wait for my glue to dry. I let it dry overnight, so around 12 hours. You don't need to wait this long for most glues, but just follow the drying directions on the glue you use. The next thing I did was mix the grout. You want the consistency to be like a thick milkshake. Follow the directions on your grout container for mixing. I then spread the grout out evenly and I made sure to press it down into all the crevices between the mosaic pieces. And if you're going to touch the grout to smooth it down, make sure you're wearing proper gloves because it can be caustic. So here I am just smoothing the grout into all of the crevices. So the next thing I did was begin to clean off the excess grout. I waited for the grout to dry for the recommended time on the grout packaging. So use a damp sponge to clean your tiles, and you'll need to rinse your sponge several times to fully clean them. And you're done. Thank you for following along and have fun trying this out at home. The most important thing to remember for this tutorial is safety first. Wear proper gloves and goggles if you cut your own tiles or plates. Here's the step-by-step -step instructions we used to make these mosaic saucers. And remember the safety first slide. And here are some books you can check out about mosaics from your library. We'll post the links to these books in the comment section below. And again, thank you for watching. If you liked this video, please follow our channel and check out other tutorials.